Don Harris, uh, if anybody knows, he's one of the Harris twins, uh, Blue Brothers, Blue Bruce Brothers. brothers. Uh, either skull or eight ball, one of them. Yeah. Either way, uh, Don Harris recently wore an SS shirt to the ring. That's uh, I, recently I had to look it up. I, I mean, I knew what it was, but I guess, I guess it's uh, Schustoffel or Nazi. So that what's it called? Schustoffel SS. Okay, before you said Nazi, I swear I was going to say it sounds like a German dessert. <laughs> That would be a horrible dessert. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, SS, for anybody, if, uh, it's it's uh, like neo-Nazis or whatever. But he wore a, an SS shirt to the ring at a TNA show. No one noticed until after it aired. I don't know how that's even possible. Uh, and they started getting complaints, prompting TNA to issue a very vague apology on their website without naming who wore the shirt or acknowledging what was on it. Good Lord. How does this even happen? Nobody notices. The big, bald, tattooed-up white dude is wearing a Nazi shirt, and he gets it on TV? And then no, and then, what makes it worse is nobody says anything until after complaints start pouring in. Like, what the it's hell? It's almost like the, uh, oh, now we got to make an apology. Oh, that's what it feels like. Yeah, <laughs> like, were you just hoping that nobody, like, enough people didn't watch your product that nobody would notice? Hey, we got a black, uh, the first ever black NWA champion. By the way, this guy's wearing a Nazi shirt. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, Lord. You put it like that, it's worse. <laughs> right. It's, and uh, it, in, the, in the Observer at the time, uh, Uncle Dave was like, I don't know if he was trying to wear that shirt to get heat or whatever. But no, uh, it has since been confirmed. They have Nazi tattoos. The Harris Bros are neo-Nazis. So yep, F they them. keep getting work. I do like who kept hiring these a holes. Like nobody knew this. I like how people were like, "Oh, they well, they were, they were nice guys." Like, but were they? Like, or were they only nice to certain people? If you catch my drift. No, what are you saying? Yeah, right. uh, do I do I have to spell it out for you? Let's just say I'm sure Hit Row isn't their favorite act on SmackDown right now. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Either way. I, I never knew there was, it was like that. I mean, you had the inkling that they were like racist or something. But I, I feel like being a Nazi, bikers. It's, it's, a, it's a whole new level of racism, I think. Like, oh, seriously. Well, yeah, absolutely. Just, that's disgusting. Yeah, let's just say they'll never share a locker room with Colt Cabana. Uh, it's just boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. These just ah, Wow. I like growing up. I, I just thought they were tattooed up bikers. I mean, a lot of bikers, you know, look that. That's way exactly what they look like, you know. Yeah, but you could also look at them and say mm, skinheads, and <laughs> apparently that was it. What's going on in your life to make you be a Nazi? <laughs> I know. Like, seriously, like what what happens in your life? Uh, you know what? I, I don't even want to speculate. I I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole it's just uh yikes but anyway if if you and i didn't dislike the harris brothers enough already that one kind of seals it i but never right. saw with them i i really didn't i'm not just saying that because we're talking about this now but yeah they're just they were they were they didn't as far as their in-ring work they, it, they didn't suck it's just it was one of them where it's like you don't suck it just you're just kind of there like, there's nothing special. You're kind of big. I don't know. 